Mom, Dad, is Mr. Homer going to babysit us tonight? No, Kalu, not tonight. Mr. Simpson is currently on vacation with his family. In fact, your father and I hired someone new, which is someone you'll probably really like. His name is Mr. Peter. Well, guys, this is Mr. Peter Griffin. He will babysit you today. Hope you will like him. Well, guys, say hello to Mr. Peter Griffin. Hello, Mr. Peter. My name is K.I.U. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Daisy. Nice to meet you, Mr. Griffin. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Peter. I'm Cody. I'm Rosie. Nice to meet you. And do not think we're going to be easy on you. Rosie, do not be rude to Mr. Griffin like you were to other babysitters. Mom and I expect you to give Mr. Griffin a good impression. Remember? He, 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 do not worry, Boris. Kids can often be like this. My little one Stewie says worse things than this princess. Hey, I'm not a princess. Stop calling me a princess. Rosie, knock it off. One more time and you're grounded. Mr. Griffin is a respectable and honorable man. Your father is right. That is not appropriate behavior. Peter, Doris and I are taking Daisy to her doctor's appointment. Please babysit Caillou, Rosie, and Cody. We should be back in two hours. <laughs> sure, Boris. You can count on me. Please take care. Daisy, let's get going. Well, hello there, little ones. Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> Mr. Peter, I am K.I.U. This is my sister Rosie, and my brother Cody. It's a pleasure to meet you, and someday I would like to meet Brian and Stewie. I heard awesome things about them. Mr. Peter, I am sorry for being rude to you earlier. That's okay, Rosie. We all make mistakes every once in a while. Say, children... How about let's go to Chunky Cheezus? My Stewie loves Chunky Cheezus. How does that sound? Yay, we would love to go to Chunky Cheezus. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter. Yay, Chunky Cheezus. Yay, 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 yay. Woohoo. Sounds like this is our day. Now this is what I call real babysitter. All right, let's go then, children. And I'll text your dad telling him we're up Chunky Cheezus. Kids, how are you liking the place? Mr. Peter, you are the best. The pizza is so good, and is in fact better than the last time we were here. Mr. Griffin is the best babysitter in the whole wide world. Yes, Cody agree with Rosie. Mr. Peter is the best babysitter we all have ever had, and we get to go to Chuck E. Cheese's all we want. I'm glad you like this place, kids. And I knew you would like it a lot. Peter, just what on earth do you think you're doing here? You're supposed to be babysitting the kids at their house. Boris, you never told me what I couldn't do with the kids, and they wanted to come to Chunky Jesus. Oops. Boris, why did you act so rude to Peter? Why? Um, 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 um. We'll have a serious talk about this when we get home. Oh. Boris, you are grounded, 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 grounded for a month. This means no casinos, no go animate, no going out with your friends, no movies, and no pizza. Go to your room now. Hey everyone, because today is Kalo's birthday, we are all going to see Toy Story 4 because that's what he wanted to do. He watched the first three movies before. And then what are we going to do next? Once the movie is over, we're going to Little Caesars for Kalo's birthday dinner, and then we're having cake and ice cream here at the house. So I will expect everyone to be on their best behavior. 
but we have to go to McDonald's or Carl's Jr. on the way. I am very hungry. Boris, this means you too, and we can get food at the movie theater. And by the way, the movie starts in about 45 minutes, so let's get going. Guys, I'm going to stop here at Carl's Jr. to get a Western bacon cheeseburger. Boris, remember what I told you? We can get food while we're at the movie theater. We only have 30 minutes before the movie starts. It's only going to take like 5 minutes, and I'm going through the drive through Good afternoon. Welcome to Carl's Jr. How may I take your order? Yes, I would like to have two Western bacon cheeseburgers, with large fries, onion rings, large Pepsi, and chocolate chip cookies please. That'll be $15.67, and your order should be ready within 5 to 10 minutes. Here you go. Oh great, we're stuck in traffic. I don't know for how long. Boris, I told you not to go to McDonald's and to wait until we got to the movie theater to buy food. Now we have to wait for a while in this traffic, and we might miss the movie. Now the kids are getting worried. Well, I hope in a few minutes, the traffic will clear up. I'm afraid we'll be in traffic for about 15 to 20 more minutes. We'll just have to wait and see. Good afternoon, and welcome to Go Animate Cinema. How may I help you? Um, yes, I would like six tickets to Toy Story 4. Um, I'm afraid to tell you this, but the doors just closed for the last available showtime for Toy Story 4, and all other showtimes today have been sold out, but there are showtimes available tomorrow, if you would like. So this means we have to wait till tomorrow, right? I'm afraid so. Boris, how could you? Now Kalo is upset. Let's go home right now. <coughs> Boris, I am very disappointed in you for making us miss the movie. Now we're going to have to see it tomorrow. Doris. I was really hungry, so that's why I went to Carl's Jr. and bought two Western Bacon Cheeseburgers. I told you twice not to stop at Carl's Jr. or McDonald's, but instead have food once we got to the theater. And we were in traffic for a good 20 minutes, so we missed the movie. I'm really sorry, Doris. I know you're sorry, but because of what you did, there will be consequences when we get home. You are grounded 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 for a week. And this means no movies, no video games, no Peter Piper pizza. Now go upstairs right now and think about what you did. Boris, please get over here. I have something important to tell you. What is it, Doris? And why are you all dressed up? Boris. Today is very special day. Kalo is graduating from middle school and will be entering high school next school year. The ceremony will be in an hour and I expect you to be on your absolute best behavior during the ceremony or you'll be grounded. Now, let's drive to the school because we don't want to be late. Sounds like a great idea. And I wish Caillou all the best. Why thank you dad. Doris, may I please use the restroom? Yes you may, but please be back on time. The graduation ceremony is going to begin within the next 15 to 20 minutes, and you don't want to miss Caillou getting his certificate. I'm not going to attend Caillou's graduation ceremony. Instead I'll be going to Little Caesar's Pizza, and it's only a couple blocks away. Little Caesar's Pizza, here we come. Hello, and thank you for coming to Little Caesar's Pizza. How may I take your order? Ah, yes, I would like one medium triple meat pizza, with breadsticks, ranch sauce, cheese bread, and I would like a Pepsi Wild Cherry as well. Medium triple meat pizza, 
breadsticks, cheese bread, and a wild cherry Pepsi. Is that for here or to go? For here, please. Is that going to be all? Yes. Your total is going to be $14.43, sir. Thank you. $5.57 is your change, and your order should be ready within the next 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, hey you too. I didn't know you were here as well. Hey Boris, Kimberly and I ordered a pizza as an early celebration for Erica graduating from high school. And what are you doing here? There was supposed to be a conference at the convention center for my job, but I was informed that it got cancelled. And D I got hungry so I came here and ordered a pizza. I see. And what else have you been up to? The other thing, my son Caillou is graduating from middle school, and I decided to take the family out to pizza to celebrate. That's good to hear. Rosie, Cody, and Daisy, do you have any idea where your dad could be? He hasn't come back, and it's been over half an hour, like 40 minutes. Well, as far as I can remember, Caillou told me he saw Dad leaving the school and going across the street to Little Caesar's Pizza. Thanks for telling me, Rosie. After the ceremony is over, we're going to meet your dad at Little Caesar's. Boris, 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 Boris. Get over here right now. Boris, why did you skip Caillou's graduation ceremony and go to Little Caesar's Pizza instead? Well, 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 well. I came here because I was bored and hungry, and I wanted to get a pizza. Dad, that was very rude and selfish of you to get up and leave the ceremony. Caillou was right. What you did was very uncalled for. Now let's go home. You are grounded 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 for a month. Now go upstairs and think about what you did. We will discuss it in a few minutes. Kalo, time to wake up. It's your first day of high school. I just got up, Dad. I'll be coming downstairs in a minute. Good. Breakfast will be ready in 10 minutes. Good morning, Caillou. Good morning, Dad. Good to see you're ready for your first day of school. And breakfast is almost ready. Good morning, Caillou. Good morning to you, Mom. And good morning to you. Daisy, Cody, and Rosie. So are you all ready for your first day of school? I most certainly am. And today is the first day of my freshman year of high school. I know, and we are so proud of how well you did in middle school. And if you four are well behaved, we're going to Little Caesar's Pizza tonight for dinner to celebrate the first day of the school year. How does that sound? That sounds awesome. We will promise to behave in school today. Okay family, breakfast is ready. This breakfast looks delicious, Dad. Thank you, Rosie. Oh, hey Caillou. Hey Leo, how was your summer? My summer was fantastic, how about you? It was awesome. My family and I went to Colorado to visit my aunt and uncle and my cousins, and we went to Little Caesar's Pizza to celebrate us doing well in school. Well, my family and I went to Florida, are also to visit family, and because we were in the same grade, my family and I also celebrated graduating middle school. We are both happy that today is our first day of high school. So, what class do we have together? I think we have world history with Mr. Martin for second period. You're right. And I even heard good things about Mr. Martin. I'm sure we're going to enjoy his classes, based on what I'm hearing. What is the rest of your class schedule like? For first hour I have algebra, and then we have world history, beginning French, and then my last class today is physics. 
Well, for my first class today I have physics, then after world history I have computer art and then algebra 1. I see. Good morning class. My name is Mr. Martin, and I will be your teacher for world history and geography. We'll go over the classroom rules and the syllabus, and introduce ourselves. But first, we're going to go over the syllable. Homework is worth 40% of your grade. There will be four exams, including a final at the end of the semester. They will be worth 15% of your grade. We will have three essays due, and they will be worth 20%. And finally, in-class assignments and participation are 25%. Now, we're going to introduce ourselves. I'm Leo. I'm Caillou. I'm Zachary. Caillou, didn't you have Miss Martin as your teacher several years ago? Yes, I did, when I was much younger. She wanted me to say hi, and has told me good things about you. And Leo, I remember you were also in Miss Martin's class with Caillou. Leo, guess we were right about Mr. Martin. He's a very fun teacher to have. He didn't even give us any homework on the first day of school, but according to what he said his assignments aren't going to be boring at all. However, he wants us to read the first chapter in the textbook for next class on Monday. Tomorrow, would you like to join us at the library to study? Absolutely, why not? I think we should go to the library tomorrow to read the first chapter and then discuss it. Anyways, I think we need to get going. My family and I are going to have pizza at Little Caesars. But we'll see you tomorrow. So how was your first day at school today? It was fantastic. In fact Mr. Martin is now my favorite teacher, and he knew me before because I had Miss Martin when I was younger. I'm glad to hear that, Kalo. So Rosie, Daisy, and Cody, how did your first day of school go? It was my first day of middle school, and I made some new friends in my classes. And because you were well behaved at school today, we're going to order a pizza from Little Caesars and eat it here. How does that sound? That sounds awesome. Boris, the pizzas are ready. Where's the triple meat pizza? Well, you didn't ask for the three meat pizza, so instead we got cheese and pepperoni. I want the three meat pizza. 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 Right now, 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 now. That's it, Boris. You're grounded for another week. Go upstairs to your room now. Yay! Peter Piper Pizza, here we are. I don't want Peter Piper Pizza, I want to go to Little Caesars instead. Boris, the reason we're here is because today is Cody's birthday, and he wanted to go to Peter Piper Pizza. Also, it's been a long time since we last came here. Doris, I think we've been here too much. We should celebrate Cody's birthday at Little Caesars Pizza or Carl's Jr. Once again, we're not going to Little Caesars Pizza or Carl's Jr. Cody wanted us to celebrate his birthday here. And you better be on your best behavior. Understood? Okay, I promise I will behave. Good. Now let's go inside. Good afternoon, and welcome to Peter Piper Pizza. How may I take your order? I would like one extra large pepperoni pizza, garlic cheese bread, and a large Pepsi please. That will be $17.33. The food will be ready in 15 to 20 minutes. And while we're waiting, Cody, do you have any wishes? Yes, I wish for getting good grades in school as always. And I wish for a happy moment for me and my family because we're celebrating my birthday. Any other wishes? Doris, sorry to interrupt, but may I please use the restroom? Sure you can, Boris, but please be back in 10 minutes. The pizza will be ready any minute by then. Yes. I just left Peter Piper Pizza, and instead, I am going across the street to Carl's Jr. I am tired of this place. Hey Alan, what are you doing here? Hello, Boris. I haven't seen you in a long time. 
How are you and your family doing? My family is doing well, thanks for asking. My oldest son Kalo is a freshman in high school, and so far he's been getting very good grades. And how are you doing, Alan Cook? I've been doing good as well. Warren is going to be graduating high school this year, and he wants to major in technology when he's in college. Very interesting. What is he majoring in? I think he wants to be a computer science major. Anyways, would you like to go next door to main event with me? We can play really fun games and win cool prizes. That sounds like a great idea. All right then, let's go after I pick up my order. Alan, your order is ready. Alan. I'm going to eat my dinner here, and then we'll go to main event. Kids, do you have any idea where your dad could be? It's been over 20 minutes. As a matter of fact, I saw him walk out of Peter Piper Pizza to go to Carl's Jr. And then I saw him and Alan Cook walk to main event. I am serious. He ruined my birthday. Thanks for telling me, Caillou. We're going to eat the pizza, and then we're going to get your dad and go home. He is going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my, gosh, I just won 30 tickets. My family is going to be very happy with me. I'm so happy for you, Boris, even though I won only 17 tickets, but still, we're going to get prizes. And you did excellent at bowling. Thank you. Anyways, there are more arcade games we have to play, and I hope we win more tickets and get more prizes. I agree with you. Let's go over there and play the Batmobile game. It's one of our favorite games. Boris Anderson, Boris Anderson, Boris Anderson, Boris Anderson, get over here right now, 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 now. You are in super big trouble, mister. Dad, I cannot believe that you would leave my birthday party and go over to Carl's Jr. and main event instead. That was very ungrateful and selfish of you to do that. Because of this, you are grounded 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 for two months. And this means you can not see Alan Cook during that time, no going to main event, and no McDonald's. Go upstairs to your room now. Kids, I have something very important to tell you. What is it, Mom and Dad? This weekend, your Aunt Lucy is getting married, and she invited us to the wedding on Saturday. It will be at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, followed by a reception. We know how well behaved you have been, but we want to remind you to be on your best behavior during the wedding. And Boris, this means you too. Understood? I understand, Doris. We promise we will behave. That's good. And remember, we have to leave for the church no less than 30 minutes before the wedding starts. Boris, come downstairs please. We have to leave in 5 minutes. Sorry I'm late. You're not late, but next time, I want you to get ready earlier. Anyways, I think we should leave now. We need to find a good parking place because many people are showing up. So let's get into the car. I'm really hungry right now, so let's find a McDonald's or Burger King or any fast food restaurant along the way. Boris, you're going to make us late if you stop at any fast food restaurant. Besides, you've already eaten breakfast. So you can wait until the reception to have more food. Doris, I am hungry, so we are going to Carl's Jr. It's going to be quick, and I need more food. No. We are not going to Carl's Jr., and you can't have food after the wedding. We need to find a parking space at the church. Dad, you're going to make us late to Aunt Lucy's wedding if you stop at Carl's Jr.? Please. I don't care. We're going to Carl's Jr. because I want a Western bacon cheeseburger. Boris, for the last time, I said no. For the billionth time, we are going to Carl's Jr. and I am getting a Western bacon cheeseburger. Boris, what do you think you're doing? I said no Carl's Jr. What did I just tell you, Boris? Get back into the car this instant. We're going to miss the wedding. What? There's a long line? This is going to take forever.
Good morning. Welcome to Carl's Jr. And I apologize for the delay. How may I take your order? I would like one Western bacon cheeseburger with large fries, a large Pepsi, and a strawberry swirl cheesecake. Is that for here or to go? To go. Your total is going to be $12.33. I would like a name for the order please. Boris. Your order should be ready in 5 minutes. Boris, your order is ready. Boris. Boris. You were in Carl's Jr. for almost a half hour, and I tried calling you ten times, but you wouldn't answer. Now we're going to miss the wedding. Don't worry. I am sure we will still find the parking space. We're not going to get a place to park because the wedding started like five minutes ago. I told you not to go to Carl's Jr., but you never listened to me. We're almost there. We'll have to wait and see. Oh no, there's nowhere to park. That's right, Boris. There are no places to park, and now we have missed the wedding. Thanks to you. We're going straight home, and I will be driving. Dad, I can't believe that you made us miss Aunt Lucy's wedding. That was very selfish of you. Lucy is not going to be pleased about this. You are grounded 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 for three months. Now march upstairs to your room right now.